give me a second of your time. We not fixing the lights today. We not fixing the quality of visual video. We're here to tell you something. And that's what's important, the audio. Everything else is going to make me sweat. And I'm going to get even more upset. Bang. We was reported and we got a YouTube strike. Bing. Right? For the first time ever in over 13 years of me making content and here's why now let's not think like oh that guy's a genius he got you a strike no he used the proper terms right but my only problem and that was star from the the star report i was gonna say the breakfast club <laughs> well why i feel breakfast all right but maybe i'm hungry <laughs> but anyway Star reported us, but here's the thing that gets me mad. I was just saying something that was facts, but they can make videos about everybody and talk and bad talk and put down everybody using everybody's name. Not only Fat Joe, because the video was about him speaking about Fat Joe being a guest in hip hop. My dude. That's absurd. They even, it's crazy that something like that would even come out of somebody's mouth. So I don't think that we said anything during the course of that video. The Star Report hasn't said 30 times worse. Now, you reporting a picture that someone used, this is what happens. And y'all need to follow me and leave in the comment section if you think I'm right. You reporting that we used your content, meaning a picture of you, because I didn't use none of the audio, I didn't use none of the video, nothing. I didn't use none of his content, but I used his a picture, right? Which he probably had on Google somewhere. Who knows? I don't even remember where I got it from. But normally, that's where I get it from. Google images pop, but you got to make sure that they don't belong to him, the dude is in the picture. It's people like that, like Star, that change all the rules and regulations. Or those rules been in place, but they make YouTube and platforms enforce them when they don't even want to. Because if it was like that, you know how many channels you got to take down? You know how many videos the, the platform would not exist? But it's people like him that see that? And make everybody do it. Oh, you use my picture. That's my content. And life don't work that way. Right? Because they're reporting on something. And that fact, I was reporting on the reporter. You can't be reporting on. Even the police need to be policed. Because they go left. You was going left. When I look, I'm like, hold up. I got a strike. Let me show it to you, bro. I'm like, yo, I got a strike. Hold on, B. Hold, what? Boom, I go look. It says his name, something, Tory, whatever. Pop. There it goes, bro. Look. A copyright owner asks us to take down your video because they believe it contains material that violates their copyright. As a result, your video was removed from YouTube. Your, clan, your channel received a strike. <laughs> if you get three copyright strikes, your account alone... All right, we all know that, right? But here's the thing, bro. We don't make content to get copyright strikes. Now, he thinks he's the only one that has lawyers and has friends. He's always like, my friend is an accountant. Bro, you gotta be able to handle what you're ditching out, bro. If you're filtering down something that's no good. Prime example, yesterday, I went and I watched. Because I said, I know he's talking about the incident because it has him tight. It got to have you tight in order for you to give somebody a copyright strike, bro. And he goes on his channel and calls the dude a spick. You could go check it out. It's right in this video that says Joe Button. Uh, he's talking about Joe Button and a certain situation right now here's the thing with that 
none of you guys are going to go report it. So they'll get away with that. But if it was you or me, look what they do. Now, it's cool because when somebody violates my platform, I do the same. But not petty because you're just making a video stating something about what I said. You got to really be going hard. Like when Payne and them took my video and did all that corny and people was changing my hair, whatever it was, that they was trying to play with the video. That's a different story. You're literally taking my video. Right? Anyway, hold on, hold on. Here it goes. Pop 108, 108.52 is the timestamp that you go to that video, his last video or live stream where it says Joe Button. Right? The podcaster with Queen's Flip. He's talking about all that. If you go to 10852 or just put 108, bro. Right? Like the street. 108. You could take the, the little line on YouTube, you know, zoop, go all the way to 108. But I'm talking about not one minute. You get it? It's like an hour in the time thing, if I'm not mistaken. An hour passed by. They were live. You know, he takes calls like we do, like we've been doing. We was on the internet before these dudes. This dude's only got like 2014, respectfully. We've been doing this since the early, way back. I even showed channels I got from 2008, 2006, 2009. These are facts. Uh, uh, MySpace was popping when we was here. Fox, uh, G-Unit, Dumbouts. They was already on the internet with us. Fox would have been, when I think about it, Fox would have been popping, popping on the internet right now. Because for an OG dude that's been around us up north and all that, he was he was hip on the digital thing going up. Like, his vision was right. You get it? Like, he, was, he wasn't a dumb street dude. You get it? Hashtag smart street dudes only. But what gets me tight is this, bro. Homie. You went and reported that. Like, nobody even said nothing too crazy. A lot of stuff that I said, I was actually joking with a little truth, right? So the truth hurts. And this is what happens. Now, don't get it twisted. I don't do tit for tat. But if I see a dude like Star or somebody that they think they big platforms and all that, and they, got, they could get their word out to a lot of people like some of us can, Homie, if you start using crazy words like that, people report that, bro. You hurting a whole group of people's feelings, right? So whether I report it, when I have reported people, because I have. That's why I'm not even mad. But it's like, bro, for that, you can't just be playing with the report button. You got to read what it says. If you start reporting people... And you taking it like a joke, just reporting, and they find out you just trying to get, they block your IP address, they block you from making content, they take every other channel from you. Not just the channel you got, you can't post no more from that IP or nothing, or your face, or nothing, to YouTube. These are facts. If anybody know, I know. I'm the last dude you want to play with reporting stuff that's not valid. Because I'm not going to let up off of you, bro. You get it? You caught the right one. You These dudes think, like him, he could get away with that because nobody reports him. He thinks we're, people are dumb. He thinks us, people from the hood, the gutter, the slums, he thinks it equals dumb to him. He's like, oh, they don't know no better. These guys is morons. Like, you got to listen to the way this dude talks, bro. He's off the meter with it. But I've been saying this for years. And he's probably a good dude. And I've said that before. But when you turn that camera on and you're recording and you're trying to get the bank, all you worried about is you as a person and you're not making content worrying about nobody's feelings. And that's bad when you got an audience that they dig you and they love you. And in words, there's a lot of power, my dude. And it gets to a point where you don't notice how you're abusing the power of word. So now we could sit here all day and have a debate on how both words is just as bad. The N word when we be like, what up, my nigga was popping, right? It's two totally different things of a dude saying, yo, what up, Spick? 
Why am I, dude? Because you know that that's not used as a word of endearment unless you're trying to change it to that. And everybody's like, yo, what up, spit gang? Like, come on, but it's two total different things, bro. I don't even have to ask nobody. I feel it in my heart. You get it? So they was talking about Fat Joe and them using the N-word, right? And being a guest in hip-hop. And my thing was, like, y'all don't say nothing to Nori. Y'all don't say nothing to a lot of people. Y'all didn't say nothing to the dude from Run DMC. DMC, he's Dominican. But nobody wants people to know he's Dominican, right? So Latinos been in hip-hop since hip-hop was ever even thought of. This is facts. So now... This is what happens when people create something. And I say this respectfully, right? Just because I'm being nice, because I don't have to do that. So if I say I invented this cup and you see the cup pop and take off or anything, a song or whatever, or a way of rap, right? A way of rap. Let's put it at that. A way of rap. You'd be like the first one that invented that was Warpath, right? But there was somebody else already doing that. The only thing that it gave to me Somebody found me, boom, and they was willing to invest, and we worked, and it took off, and it seems to you like I was the first one, but in other parts of the world, and dudes was already doing that. They didn't just have the means to make it pop. I don't know if you understand, because it takes quite a bright individual to look into those, what, 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 what's popping with the words, you heard? So... It's the same thing in every genre of music. Everybody has the same problem. Even in the Latin culture with hip-hop, uh, Bad Bunny selling out more than even Michael Jackson today. Dash people like, oh, my, no, he didn't. It's a fact. Yes, he did. Like, look it up. Why would people lie about that? Like, there's no other rapper or music selling more than PR and Bad Bunny. And it's not only because of Bad Bunny has been that way. And it's not because I have Puerto Rican because I got blacks in my family too. That's the thing. Y'all get it twisted. Like, it's no, right? I'm in between, like stuck in between, right? But I'm fair and what's fair, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And in this sense, he's wrong. I don't know how we got to Bad Bunny and all that, but you already know we never stay on topic on this channel. So if you're looking for a topic channel, Whoop! This is not for you. I just wanted to let off some steam. Who likes to hear the same thing for two hours, bro? It's like science class. Like, oh my God, teacher. They call your name. Uh, Johnson? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're falling asleep in all the classrooms, bro, because the teacher's stuck in the same thing. Damn, bro. For a whole nother hour. Like, you get sleepy, you start sweating, right? You're like, oh, snap. You ever think, oh, snap. <laughs> you heard? But yeah, bro, we don't talk about the same thing like that too long. It's boring, homie. Facts. Plus, there's a big tip for you if you ever thought about making content. We got keyboards I'm giving away brand new in the box. I've been doing this for years. Microphones, if you need a mic, a mixer. We ain't got much, <laughs> but with the little bit we got, we willing to share. I got microphones. I got over 15 microphones. I got four mixers right now. Uh, some of them are even up to $600, the mixer. Well, you can say push or shove right now. It's probably like four and change because I've been saying six for like a few months, but the prices go up and down. So that one is still there. I just keep forgetting to mention it to give it to one of you guys. Uh, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff for your show if you're serious about it. I'm willing to help. But if you're going to make content to be like these dudes and just bad talk everybody and disrespect people and calling them out their name and all that and be racist, then don't ask me for it. If you're going to try to divide and conquer two ethnicities, races, religions, I don't like that. Like Puerto Ricans, blacks, or because we could all get crazy and we all got stories for days. And you're not going to like what he said and he's not going to like what he said and it's just wrong. People are listening, and it sets the tone for what happens in real time. Believe that. And that's the problem I have with that. So, yeah, he reported me. And it did get me a little upset because I was like, bro, I used your picture. You use people's picture all the time. Go to his platform in the bottom because mostly you see as him, right? So 
He used people's pictures in the matter of his videos, bro. But this is what will set a trend, a mark, and enforce it. The law is there. It's just that nobody says that. And you're never going to be able to talk about another rapper or nobody because he's going to say he got my content in this video. And you're going to feel like, where? He got my picture up there. You could talk about me all you want. You could put my name in the title all you want. But you can't just take my picture and put it up there, bro. And you're going to be tight. You get it? So, because we didn't use the audio. I even said it. I would let you listen to the audio, but I'm not because this dude is a reporter. The name fits him right. You get it? And, 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 and even though we had the war report, but uh, we wasn't getting crazy like him. And like I said, it's no justification. It's just facts. I have reported dudes. But you was playing with my video and trying to lie to people about something that I already had posted myself. It's a whole different ball game, homie, than me making a video about you lying about people that are legends like Fat Joe, Big Pun, Cuban Lynx, Tony Sunshine. These people are legends in hip hop, bro. Since I can't remember the hip, it feels like they've been here since it started to me. And in case you get it twisted, we may look, I'm far from, 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 uh, 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 I was around, bro. I was there. I was on Rikers Island when Fat Joe was coming through with that's of Facts, nice and smooth, all that. Boom, skiddity, boom, skiddity, boom, hunts. I got that uncle, rock a pump, pump, and I'm a FIFA, I'm the four diggity, dough. Here we go. I took a tree, smell my feet, I dippity dropped them hits. You remember that? Nice and smooth, it's walking, pull, so hip hop, poo. In you, let me know if you remember that, bro. It's two different songs there, but <laughs> yeah, man. So, am I a little upset? Yeah, I gotta be honest, cause I didn't play with your bread and butter. I didn't, I didn't report you. I, I don't do that to dudes that are monetizing and are getting bread and are doing podcasting in the right way. You're doing your podcasting in the right way, my dude. You get it? You, you cool? You star, right? But at one point and at some points, we all go left. And once you start talking about, yo, I don't care if you joking with your boy or whatever, bro. Dudes don't want to hear that. Yo, Spick, what? Homie, I know. Anyway, bro, let me stop because then you hit the button or he threatening me. You already know what it is, bro. I ain't got to say no more. You, you been around, you know people. You're not street, but you know people that is like that, right? So then you know what it gives once you talk like that. It's just period. That's just in life. It's two total different things, bro. When I when we grow up or when people... Bro, there's white people nowadays in our hood being like, yo, what up, my nigga? It's two different meanings to that word, bro. You got blacks that say it to other people and the dude can't say it back to him? Nah, nigga, ain't nobody telling me how to talk. You crazy? I hospitalize a situation like that. Facts. You bugging. Nobody telling me how to talk. But when it comes to disrespect, it's a different type of talk to racism, to being like, yo, you speck. Look it up in the dictionary what the word means, right? But if you look up the street term of the N-word, there's no bad meaning for it in the dictionary because there's nothing bad, bro, when a person don't mean something like that. You mean that like that. And that's the difference. I got a whole lot more to say on the live tonight, 8 p.m., bro. Thank you for tuning in. Wow. Ah, yo, this dude reported your son. And I could have hit him back to take down the, the strike. That's how they do, right? But now nah, I don't hit dudes back, you heard? We, we... You feel me? When we talk, we're going to talk. <laughs> and it's not going to, you know what I mean? It's not, the, my conversations is not about you taking my thing down. You heard? Facts. It's cool. I hold that. You, you play that game, you got to be ready, you heard? Because you're dealing with dudes. Now you're dealing with dudes that know the internet. Not just your regular street nigga. This is hashtag smart street niggas only. Bang. Prepare for battle. Finish it. 